Eastern was needing a stable steam supply to heat the uh, main part of our campus, the original part, and for not only heat, but domestic hot water and reheat in the buildings. Uh, the campus started with a steam production plant in 1909, so a lot of our infrastructure is quite old. Uh, the current boilers were installed, the coal boilers were installed in the 60s, our gas boiler in the late 80s, early 90s. So there's a lot of things that are old and need a little bit of work. Our coal boiler number two had not worked really well the last couple of years, needing some tube. We had a lot of tubes failing. So uh, we decided that we needed to retube it. Our uh, administration came up with the funding to retube the boiler, and it was virtually a no brainer to go with our partners at Ware that have been with us for longer than I've been in this position, which is 15 years, and their, uh, their history with the state. The speed at which it was all put together was quite, quite fast. When the university came up with the funding for this, uh, we met with our, our partners with the Division of Engineering and Contract Administration in Frankfurt, uh, told them what we were going to do. Uh, engineer was appointed through the selection committee and as soon as we got started, we contacted Ware. Uh, they took off with it like it was their problem and not ours and uh, got our information back. Turnarounds on documents, uh, submittals, everything has been very fast and uh, I don't think there have not been any deadlines extended because of where. That's, that's a real nice to have a partner like that. Early on at the beginning of the process, we knew we had had some two failures. We did not know how many. And Ware's team came in and got an inspection of us, helped us out, uh, took me inside the boiler to, uh, to show, had lots of pictures and everything, so that we could demonstrate the administration that it did need an entire retube. So they were very helpful in identifying all the problems and uh, everything that needed, to, that needed to happen. This project started out as the retubing of the boiler and we wanted to replace our DA and pump system that was installed in the 60s and you know, fix some condensate return problems that we have across campus which we're doing with a lot of steam line work. The process we were going to add the new DA tank and uh, pump system on a mezzanine above where we're standing now, uh, right next to the existing one. But this being a 1909 structure, putting it up in the air here was going to be quite, a, quite an ordeal uh, for architects, engineers, and everything because this building was built in 1909. Uh, so it became obvious that the, the easiest thing to do would be to take out our boiler number one, which was in worse shape than boiler number two. Um, that leaves us with our big coal burner, which is 68,000 pounds per hour, our current gas boiler, which is 30-something thousand pounds per hour, and the boiler two that is being retubed at 48,000 pounds per hour. So we will have the two coal burners and one gas burner. Putting the new DA tank where it wouldn't fit in the air, we're gonna take out boiler one and put it in that space. That gives us more space to do other things. 